Welcome to You Be The Judge, where the objective of this show is to put it out there and let you be the judge. I know everybody got their beliefs, but don't hate on mine. Now check out this content. Okay, so I, I made this content. You know, MLK birthday just passed. And, you know, that dream speech, it, it came to my mind. Because people, they kind of misconstrued that. So I put my twist on it. The great black American dream. You feel me? Because a lot of people, you know, they say what they say about us, but they always hate on us. You know, they can talk, they can put the propaganda out, they can get on the internet and hate. So, I'm talking about every race, get on the internet and hate. I don't know why. Whatever, y'all talk about us, but y'all want to be us. But the thing is, you know, you talk all that shit, y'all would not last a day in a black man, black woman, black child, shoes. You wouldn't be able to handle it. I don't care what race you are. Stepping in these shoes of a black person, black American, man, these some uh, big shoes to feel, man. And y'all feet kind of little, man, in this show. That's why y'all be hating. But you can't hate on this. Can't hate on the great black American dream because it's here. You know, and you seeing people wake their game up and see, ah, nah, I ain't fucking with them Democrats. I ain't even fucking with the Republicans. I sit on a couch and see what happens. That's what I'm doing. Unless something astronomical happened where this old dude come out and say, we finna cut the check. We're, we're about to cut the check for those that want to hear about. Okay? But uh, when I hear that, I, I, I'm i headed to vote. Because it's due. And they know it's due. That's why they trying to send money elsewhere so they can say, hey, we don't got no money. What? You spent it all. See, that's like somebody owing you some money, right? And they paying everybody else they owe. Instead of you. But they've been owing you for 400 years. And they keep paying everybody else. And they ain't paid you. You done worked for them. You done slaved for them. You done did hella shit for them. We are the. I'm telling you. We are the only. Ethnicity. Black Americans. That have been enslaved. In this country. No other group can say that. We are the only. Group of of people, black Americans, who have been enslaved on this soil, where we live, where we breathe, where we still get hated on and is full of racism. Y'all know it. And everybody jumping on a bandwagon. Oh, no, now it's a movement. Everybody got a movement. They throwing up flags and all. Yeah. Y'all going to piggyback, huh? So I'm telling all my black Americans, watch them. Go ahead and, and fight they fight. We got to focus on our fight. We do have a fight, y'all. If you're black in America, you do have a fight. Honestly, just think about it. If black people had enslaved any other group, how would y'all feel about us? Y'all would be suing us. Y'all be suing. Y'all would have been sued us. If, if we had enslaved any other group in this country, on this soil, y'all would still be suing us. Y'all would still be asking for y'all do. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. Y'all done seen everybody do it too. Y'all done seen other groups do it and get what's due to them. So we do for the great black American dream. We do for it. And I have the great black American dream. You know, I made it through the struggle. I'm here to uh, let y'all know what I went through. You know, talk about it if I need to. Let it out. You know, I've survived. Man, I survived Oakland. I'm going to just leave it at that. I didn't survive over. I'm damn near 50. I made it. Okay? Where you from, if you my age, <clears throat> a lot of people didn't make it. Okay? They were seeking that great black American dream, and they got caught up in the system. Um, you know, whether it be family, friends, they, they fell off. But that's okay, because we're here to bring them back. You know, it's time to uplift our black American people. It's time to uplift our black American people and focus on ourselves, y'all. Because if you look around your your community, if you look everybody, everywhere that, that someone is black, you see what they're going through. It ain't, you ain't got to you, you ain't got to talk to them. You can look at black people now in America and see what they're going through without even having a conversation with them. That's how bad it is. And everybody focus on um, everybody else. You know what they're going through and their struggles, which. Uh, to me is important focusing on um struggle is important humanity you know democracy what they ever they call it that that i don't even know what that is anymore 
culturally, come on, man. How many of y'all cultures people trying to bite? I'm talking about every aspect of it, the way we dress, walk, talk, interact with people, our game, our ism. They done created so many platforms to try to knock us down. I'm, if you think about society, man, how many platforms, how many times you done seen them try to hate on the black American dream? When they see brothers doing it, when they got their own businesses, entrepreneurs, you know, like Black Wall Street, all that type of stuff. That's part of the black American dream. Okay? So when you see this type of stuff, then this type of content that I'm putting out there is because it's true. And a lot of y'all want to be like black people. Keep it real. You probably sitting somewhere right now watching Power or something. One of them shows. You sitting there right now watching something and talking about black people right now. I bet you. And like I said, man, whether it's ratchet, whether it's sophisticated, they all want to be us. And they talk about us on the internet. They don't want to get reparations because they know. They know, man. They, they It's going to go from talking about us and being mad. They Just imagine how they're going to feel. If we get what's due to us, that reparations check. Just imagine. And like I said, I hope they don't hate. Because a black American dream is consistent. We take over all genres. See, but what they do is want to own them. But the black, the great black American dream is us standing on our uh, code. <clears throat> That's standing firm for what we believe in. The great black American dream is what Martin Luther King was talking about. But from a whole different level, okay? Because we focus in on ourself. You know, this right here is about black American people. FBAs, black, whatever you want to call it. It's lineage based from slavery. You know, it's all lineage based. It's not no African American, this, that, and the third. No, it's the great black American dream, which comes with reparations. And it's lineage based from slavery. Yeah, so they, they, ooh. Look at us now, right? They say we going through whatever, and we still find a way. The whole bootstrap thing, we still find a way. Just imagine, y'all, if black people, economically, because we carry the most value uh, in this country economically. We spend the most, we consume them, all that. So with that being said, we will buy this damn country, man. We will buy up everything and make it black. And they know that. But it'll be a good thing, no. Because we good people, as long as you don't mess with us. As long as you don't compromise our integrity and do that weird shit, we the best friends to have on this planet. And y'all know that. But y'all don't want to have that conversation about reparations, see? And that's how I'm going to find out my new friends in life. I'm going to bring up that conversation with everybody. Then I'm going to see where you stand at. Based on slavery, you do. I'm, I'm telling you, all of, everybody got their due diligence from this country, except Black Americans, right? Am I right, y'all? After all the stuff we've been through, I'll, I'll go back in the history books. Am I wrong, y'all? I'm not. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The great Black American dream is something we always had, you know. But they kind of put it swept under the rug and made it seem like it wasn't that great. It's extremely great. It's to the highest power. Okay? And they know that. So, this whole thing that I'm putting out there, this narrative for y'all, is something beautiful. Look at this narrative. The great black American. Do you can't. Look at that, man. Don't it sound good? It sound good. See, I know. So, is you with it or not? Ask every other group how I feel to get they check. Ask all them other groups they got a check from this government how I feel. And if they talk about giving it back. Ask all these other groups if they got reparations, would they include us? Ask all these other groups, all this money they get from the government, will they ever include us? Would they fight? Will they ever stand up for black people, black Americans, and say, hey, y'all, what y'all doing to black Americans is wrong? Have you seen any other group, any other ad, propaganda on the media from any other group standing up? I'm not talking about, I'm talking about actually standing, no, nah, what y'all doing, I'm talking about in Congress somewhere. You get all these bootlicks in there, you got some ones that go in there and pretend. Uh, you, I'm sure it's been so many in the last year or so. But, nah, I'm talking about the ones that you can tell they own code. You don't see that. You got to get that from the black media. 
So I'm observing, training myself and being prepared, you know, for this movement. Because these white supremacists, they serious. I guarantee you they getting ready for the movement, whatever movement that is. So I think black people need to be prepared for whatever movement that is. Okay? Okay, so I just put it out there and you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to hate on your content, so don't hate on mine. All right, y'all.